This ain't a game, I came with the game. Look how we run it. Look how we run it. The hustle and pain is just not the same. I came from the gutter, ayy. Whole team limitless. Never said that we above. Whole crowd showing love. Girls, we up. We on the up. We on the up. Team going up. The team going up. We run it up. We run it. We run it. We on the up. Yeah. This is Ron Jaworski. I want to invite everyone to rediscover the excellence and diversity of my six championship golf courses. You know what first attracted me to the game of golf? It's the precision it requires at every level. At Ron Jaworski Golf, everything we do centers around you. It's the small touches that make golf so special. That's what drew me in years ago and forever shapes the way I feel about the game. Come enjoy our amazing signature golf courses or go to ronjaworskigolf.com. Hut, hut! We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. As I became an orthopedic surgeon over the last 25 years, I discovered something interesting. Our female athletes would have many more ACL injuries than our male athletes. These were discovered first when the NCAA, as well as the female basketball players in the pros, were watched when they would land after getting rebounds. When they would land, they would land with their legs more knock kneed while the male athletes would land with their legs more separated, a much safer way to land when you're protecting your ACL and trying to prevent anterior knee pain. Let's take a look at our athlete and see if she has any of these issues going on with her today. Our female athletes tended to land with their legs more knock-kneed. This knock-kneed landing tended to place more shearing stresses across the anterior kneecap, as well as more importantly, their ACL. Landing with the knees coming in is very dangerous for their ACL and causing anterior knee pain. Landing with the knees in a more separated position is a much safer way of landing and they can practice this by jumping off of box. Um, it's nothing like this tradition. 
position that we got here, and I'm just glad to, you know, keep leading it. Um, so right now, we're going to introduce all our seniors, and um, just give them a, a great round of applause, and um, really, really give it up for these kids, because they put in a lot of work these last four years, did a lot of special things, so uh, they deserve it. So first, we got, we got our, our team manager, who is like, who, who's, who's really a big part of us, who's been with us all year, who does the unthink, the things that you, you guys don't see. And um, so let's bring him out right now. We got D-Rock. Next, we got the heart and soul of our team, the heart and soul for the last four years. Um, really special kid, special player. We go how he go. Um, he's good, we really good. And he's our leader, he's our, our captain. Committed to St. Louis University, Sion Medley.
the animal, we call him Two Turn. He, he, we wouldn't win big games without him. He is the heart and soul, the dog, the energy. He's like our, he sets our identity. Committed to University of Albany. No further ado, Cornelius Boyd Robinson. Next, we got seven foot stud who's, we really proud of him, uh, not even on the court, but off the court. Just the steps he's taken, the, uh, the development he's had on and off the court, uh, it's been amazing. It's been amazing, you know, so we really want to be proud of him. He's, he's done a lot for us. Um, he's a big part of us, as you all know. Without further ado, he's committed to the University of Kentucky. Um, Aaron Bradshaw. And as we continue, we want to acknowledge some people here. Uh, Mayor Victor Stokes. Mayor, can you come on out for a second? Uh, board President Mohammed. And as you can see, you see some of the shirts, and the theme is that of family. So, yes, we think that we are a family, and some of that family. It starts within the home, but it starts with you fans. These kids really feed off your energy. So even tonight and moving forward, we need you to be a rockets crowd so these kids can keep feeding off your energy. It is greatly appreciated. The mayor, you get the middle, Malik, the basketball coaches, everybody to the uh, Panthers so we can get this big picture. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Camden High School and the Clarence Turner Gymnasium 
You have just watched and witnessed senior night here at the Dewan, on Dewan Wagner Court. Seniors being um, honored in here tonight, and there's a lot of excitement in the air where tonight the Camden High School Panthers, with a record of 20 and two, ranked to eighth in the country, coached by Malik Waynes, will host the Bishop Eustis Prep Crusaders with a record of 15 and six. Um, we hope you enjoyed watching Senior Night. I already stated there's a lot of excitement in the air, not only for Senior Night, but as you may have heard when they announced DJ Wagner, he only needs 35 points to reach the magic number of not 1,000, but 2,000 career points. DJ Wagner needs 35. He would become the third member of his family after his grandfather, Milt Wagner, his father, Dewan Wagner, and again, DJ Wagner needing 35 to become the third member of his family to reach 2,000 points here. And hopefully he can get it done on the court named after his father. So there's a lot of excitement in the air. We're looking to bring you a great contest in here tonight. As they conclude with the senior ceremonies, there's gonna be another approximate seven minutes to run off the clock in warm-ups. We're gonna come back to you prior to the game to do the intro for the game, and we'll be back in a little bit. Yeah. It's gonna be a ball. Daddy the party, we came and we started. Can we start it? Can we start it? I'm armed and I'm dangerous, I can't be guarded. I can't be guarded. Fell on a plane, fell on you play, and I cannot be caught it. Can I be caught it? Just aim for the target. Bow, 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 bow. Daddy the party, we came and we started. Daddy the party, we came and we won. I'm armed and I'm dangerous, I can't be guarded. Can I be guarded? Fell on a plane, fell on you play, and I cannot be caught it. Can I be caught? Just aim for the target. Bow, bow. The mayor, when you have time, please join us. Thank you, Mayor. Our next, our next person, um, Taraya Pratt, senior, and family. Miss Patricia Fisher. Now, moving on. Um, our next person is Miss Tiani Milton and family. Yes, we're going to miss Tiana. Thank you. Our next person is Ms. Taraya Pratt with her family, Ms. Patricia Fisher.
our next, thank you. Our next senior is Miss Azar Nancy. <laughs> and family. <laughs> Thank you. And this young man came to me this year, Mr. Tyshawn Frisbee, AKA Jamal Simmons. Tyshawn Simmons. Tasha Fritz Simmons. Right. And then our final, our last, but not least, our captain, Showtime, Brielle Coleman. Not to reiterate it again, but let's give everyone a round of applause and we'll get this game going. We'll give Bishop, officers, can you tell Bishop Houston we're ready to come out? We'll give him a five minute warm up and then we'll get the game going so everyone can go home. Let's go, Panthers. Ron Jaworski. I want to invite everyone to rediscover the excellence and diversity of my six championship golf courses. You know what first attracted me to the game of golf? It's the precision it requires at every level. At Ron Jaworski Golf, everything we do centers around you. It's the small touches that make golf so special. That's what drew me in years ago and forever shapes the way I feel about the game. Come enjoy our amazing signature golf courses or go to ronjaworskigolf.com. Hut, hut! We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982.
As I became an orthopedic surgeon over the last 25 years, I discovered something interesting. Our female athletes would have many more ACL injuries than our male athletes. These were discovered first when the NCAA, as well as the female basketball players in the pros, were watched when they would land after getting rebounds. When they would land, they would land with their legs more knock kneed while the male athletes would land with their legs more separated, a much safer way to land when you're protecting your ACL and trying to prevent anterior knee pain. Let's take a look at our athlete and see if she has any of these issues going on with her today. Our female athletes tended to land with their legs more knock kneed this knock knee landing tended to place more shearing stresses across the anterior kneecap, as well as more importantly, their ACL. Landing with the knees coming in is very dangerous for their ACL and causing anterior knee pain. Landing with the knees in a more separated position is a much safer way of landing and they can practice this by jumping off of boxes and landing in a much safer position. This will protect your female and male athletes from injuries. Let's try that with the landing in a better, separated position this time. Perfect. Again. Again. Perfect. We laid our athlete back and we give them a little stretchy band. These are exercise bands that can be obtained either online or at your physical therapist shop. And you can come and see us for picking them up as well. This band is tied and they come in different colors which have different strengths. It's tied right around the knees, and then we have the athlete push apart against the resistance of the band. You're gonna have them do several of these, three sets doing almost 20 of them. Go ahead and do those. Perfect. You're doing it nice and controlled, and what you're strengthening here is the muscles around the hip. We're gonna show you one more of these different exercises while doing it standing. The next exercise to build strength in both the muscles of the hip as well as the muscles of the vastus medialis is this mini squats. Your athlete is gonna stand with a band around their knees and they're gonna squat down to about 45 degrees. And then by doing that, you can even toss a ball back and forth to them where they're gonna push against the resistance of the band. Go ahead and do a couple of those. Perfect. And by doing that, you're gonna build the strength in both the muscles around the knee as well as the muscles of the hip. This is a perfect exercise. and We're gonna show you one more modification of this that really helps build strength in the hips. Now there's lateral strides with the band around their legs. These are further gonna build strength in the muscles of the hip as well as the muscles of the knee. As they're striding, they're getting down in a small squat and going sideways. Again, you can add in increased dexterity by passing the ball back and forth to your athlete while they're doing it. And remember, these exercises are good both for your female and your male athlete. I suggest you videotape your athlete landing, focusing at the knee so you can give them cues as whether or not they're landing in a safe position. Have them do it multiple times. And by doing the strengthening exercises, and the muscle memory will build that they will land in a much safer position. And you guys won't have to see me to do your ACL reconstructions. Good luck and keep those exercises going. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to Camden High School. At this time, let's go to our public address announcer, as she's known here at the high, Mrs. Greer. Welcome to the high. And now your starting lineups. For the Bishop Eustis Crusaders, under head coach Bob Falconiero. Sophomore number two, Ian Glassmacher. Sophomore number 25, Tommy Simaraglio. Senior number three, 
James Ionelli. Senior number one, Joseph Callahan. And senior, wearing zero, Daniel Mason. And now, starting for your Camden Panthers. He's a six foot senior, number one, Sian Medley. Six five senior, number 35, Dave Sear Haskins. Six four senior, number 23, Cornelius Robinson. Seven foot two senior, number two, Aaron Bradshaw. And six four senior, number 21, DJ Wagner. Okay, thank you for tuning in to BFA Sports. I'm Steve Westcott coming to you from Camden High School and the Dewan Wagner Court in the Clarence Turner Gymnasium. So you may have been witnessing and watching senior night here at the high. Those seniors that were acknowledged on the basketball program, coached by Malik Waynes with a record of 20 and two, were number one, Sion Medley, number two, Aaron Bradshaw, number 21, DJ Wagner, number 23, Cornelius Robinson, number 35, the Sierra Haskins, Haskins, and number 43, D-Rock, Derek Lilly, who is their manager, dressing for this evening's contest. Camden High School will host tonight the Bishop Eustace Crusaders, with coming in with a record of 15 and six, and coached by Bob Falconero. Their starting lineup is as follows. Number zero, Daniel Mason. Number one, Joseph Callahan. Number two, Ian Glossmacher. Number three, James Ionelli, and number 25, Tommy Semiraglio. The starting lineups for Camden are number one, Siad Menley, number two, Aaron Bradshaw, number 21, DJ Wagner, number 23, Cornelius Robinson, and number 35, Desir Hoskins. Senior night is in the books. The seniors have been acknowledged. And there's another high point of excitement and enthusiasm in the gym tonight, whereas DJ Wagner only needs 35 points to get 2,000 career and he scores our first bucket with the dribble drive to the left side and scores. Back come the Crusaders. With the ball, some Miraglio. Now over into the hands of number three, Ionelli. Ionelli drives along the baseline. Can't get a shot off, kicks it back out. Now into the hands of Mason. Mason back to Semiraglio. Ball to now in the wing to Callahan. Callahan tries to enter the paint, can't do so. Tip back out to Mason. Bishop Eustace regroups up top, rotates the basketball to the opposite corner to number two, Ian Glassmacher. Glassmacher picks up his dribble and now being denied. Every, deny and everywhere are the Camden Panthers. That shot's no good on the baseline. Out come the Panthers. Wagner in transition, gets into the paint, kicks it back out to Sion Medley. He takes a three, that does not go. Wagner tracks down the floorboard. He now tries to get to the rim, can't score, but does get fouled. And let's recap what I just said as we came on air live. DJ Wagner needs 35 points to reach career mark 2,000. He would become the third member of his family here in Camden High School to reach 2,000. His grandfather, Milt, did it. His father, who the court gymnasium is named after. The court is named after Dewan Wagner. He had more than 2,000. And DJ looking to get to that mark tonight. He has all three so far for the Panthers of Camden High School. Step to the line to shoot a second. These two teams played back on January 17th. Camden High School in complete control of that one. Crusaders looking to come in and try to execute better with their fundamental style of play, coached by Bob Falconero, and see if they can keep this one a contest for as long as they can. And Crusaders now with the basketball, dribble drive along the baseline, kicked back out to the top of the key, now to the left wing. Shot three-point field goal taken by Callahan, that's no good. Rebound comes down to DJ Wagner, now in the transition is Haskins. Back to Medley. Medley looks to drive to the paint, kicks it to the corner. That three-point field goal is up and no good. Aaron Bradshaw with the rebound and put back. Said it's senior night and I'm going to get clean the glass and jam one home. Bradshaw with a statement here early for the Panthers. 
Crusaders break the full court, press by Camden. That jump shot, three-point field goal is no good. However, obtaining his own rebound is Ionelli. That shot is blocked by Bradshaw. 6-0 Panthers, in back come Camden High. Medley with the basketball, now to Wagner. Wagner looks to go baseline. Pull up 16-footer, that's no good. Rebound tip back out, Panthers still in control. Bradshaw will take a three from the wing, that's no good. Rebound to the Crusaders. Crossing the timeline with the basketball is Semiraglio. Looks to get into the paint, can't get a shot off. Now kicks it back out and resetting with the basketball is Callahan. Semiraglio now with it. Guard to guard pass to Callahan. To the wing to Mason. Mason up top to Glassmacher. Glassmacher over to Ionelli. Ionelli can't get anywhere with his dribble. They now rotate the basketball, goes to the opposite wing, and draining a three is number two for the Crusaders, Ian Glassmacher. 6-3 is our score. Five minutes left here in the first. Wagner with the basketball at the top of the key. Takes the right-hand dribble off of a Robinson screen. Can't get anywhere, now kick to the quarter. Medley along the baseline, kicks to the opposite corner. And taking a three and making a three is Desir Haskins. 9-3, Camden. Two, two, one, I'm sorry, 1-2-2 two, two, full court press being applied by the Panthers. They get a turnover. Ball kicked back out. Wagner for a three. That's no good. Crusader rebound to Mason. Mason now throw, passes the ball up ahead to Ionelli. Ionelli kicks over to the opposite wing. Ball and the Crusaders will now reset, and the ball's in the hands of Callahan. Firing a three from just off the left side of the top of the key. That's no good. In transition comes Camden. Lit throw ahead pass. And wag and the, oh my God. Missing the jam. And I'm sorry, I'm protecting our equipment here. <laughs> Missing the jam was Bradshaw. The ball comes all the way out to half court, right at our table, and out of bounds. Jack of all trades in here tonight. Little play by play, little color commentating, a little security for the equipment. Crusaders with the basketball, Semiraglio has it. Now into the hands of Ionelli. Semiraglio has it back. To the left wing to Mason. Mason enters the ball to the paint, kicking it opposite, and the three-point field goal is no good by Glassmacher. Back in transition comes Camden. All the way to the rim, and scoring is Cornelius Robinson. And calling a timeout is Coach Falconero of the Crusaders of Bishop Eustis. It is a 30-second timeout. We're going to stay right here. Acknowledging one of our great sponsors. Premier Orthopedics. Don't let back pain or knee strain keep you out of the game. With eight locations throughout South Jersey, Premier Orthopedic will get you off the bench and back in the action. From discovery to recovery, now including physical therapy, call or text the Premier team at 856-690-1616 for same or next day care. A uh, little um, side note to that, Coach uh, Bob Falconero, head coach of the Bishop Eustis Prep Crusaders, is one of um, the surgeons at Premier Orthopedic and a top surgeon at that, one of the best uh, in the tri-state area and known throughout the country. So good job by Coach Falconero. Thank you to Dr. Dwyer and his team and Premier Orthopedics. Let's go back to action. One, two, two, full court press still being applied by Camden. Crusaders look to break and do so with Ionelli. Ball tipped away from him and out of bounds. However, it'll remain Crusader basketball. Crusaders to inbound, right in front of Camden's bench. In the half court set, the Panthers of Camden are playing straight man to man. Ball's inbounded to Mason, he gets it back up to Semiragil, looks to take the dribble, can't do so. Kicks it back out to Mason at the top of the key. Over to the wing to Semiragil. Semiragil looks back door, can't find Ionelli. And the Crusaders will reset. 
Callahan now to Semiraglio. Semir back to the wing to Callahan. Dribble drive into the paint and scoring is James Ionelli on a good dribble drive from the left wing all the way through the paint to the right side and scoring with the right hand was Ionelli. 11-5 is our score. 2.48 left in the first. Wagner with the basketball. Being covered by Ionelli. Wagner's pass the medley in the wing. Wag back into the post to Wagner. Wagner draws the foul on Crusaders number three, James Ionelli. That'll be his first, team second. Baseline inbound for Camden High School and inbounding the ball will be Sion Medley. University of St. Louis commit and coming from the baseline and darting right to the basket and not covered was Cornelius Robinson for two. 13-5, Panthers in front. Getting to the block and dribbling to the block was Callahan. Ball now gets kicked back out and rotated to the opposite corner, and a three-point field goal is up and good for James Ionelli. Big three right there, keeping the Crusaders in touch in this one at 13-8. Ball goes into the post to Bradshaw, tipped away from him and out of bounds as he looked to go up to take a shot, but it was stripped and out of bounds, the ball will belong to Camden High School. Medley again to inbound. This time, Cornelius Robinson does not make the cut along the baseline. Medley back out top to Sear Haskins for a three. That's no good. Bradshaw gathers the board into the paint. Up and good with a little baby hook. When he gets it that deep, he's just unstoppable, folks. Seven foot two, Aaron Bradshaw with a rebound, a dribble into the paint, and a little baby right hook for two. Coming to you from Camden High School, the Clarence Turner Gymnasium and, Gen and Dejan Wagner Court. Our officials for this evening are Mr. Bill Edelman, Mr. Andrew Thomas, and Mr. Mike Perry. Crusaders are at the line to shoot two. I believe there may have been a technical foul called. Making the first one is Callahan. He gets another and makes the second as well. And that puts our score at with 151 left here in the first. 15-10 Camden. The possession will belong to the Crusaders. Four points so far for Wagner. Again, he needs 35 for 2,000 this evening. Semiraglia, guard to guard pass to Callahan. Callahan now gets it into the hands of Semiraglio, who dribble drives with the right hand and then kicks it back out to Callahan. Callahan now to Ionelli. Ionelli back to Semiraglio and now to Mason. Mason to Ionelli. Callahan with it. Back to Ionelli and back up top and resetting we are the Crusaders. Semiraglio now goes to the corner to, that was Callahan. Callahan now kicks to Glossmacher. Glossmacher tries to enter the post to Mason. He finally gathers it and kicks it back out to Glassmacher. Glassmacher now trapped along the baseline. However, does kick it all the way back out to Callahan. Resetting again are the Crusaders. Mason now gets it into the hands of Ionelli. Ionelli being covered by Haskins. Callahan gets the ball now to the wing to Mason. His three-point field goal from the corner is no good. Rebound to Haskins. Gets it into the hands of Wagner. Wagner goes all the way to the rim and scores with the left hand. Nobody from the Crusaders stopped the basketball. DJ Wagner was able to catch it on the wing right in front, right before the half-court line and get all the way to the rim and score. Six points now for Wagner. In transition, losing it is Semiraglia. Wagner in transition, gets the ball on the block. Can't score, but he's fouled. Personal foul. Jim is packed in here tonight for not only a rivalry of Bishop Eustace and Camden. Senior night. 
senior cheerleaders and basketball players and managers honored before the game. If you didn't get a chance to see that, you can go back and check it out. When we first came on, they went live uh, to senior night. Wagner makes the first. Does not make the second. Seven total for him right now. Getting the rebound and putting it back up and no good on three occasions is number 23, Cornelius Robinson. He can't get any of them to go. However, on the third attempt, he's fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. That was on number one, Joseph Callahan. It's his first. That's the team's fourth. First one is up and good for Robinson. University of Albany commit. He also makes the second. Doubled up on the Crusaders, 20 to 10. Three seconds, two seconds, one. And our first quarter is a, now over. And as I said, our score here at Camden High School are the Camden Panthers, Camden High School Panthers 20, the Crusaders of Bishop Eustis 10. When it comes to taking care of your physical wellness, maintaining good health of your bones and muscles, you want a team of doctors you can trust and who hold themselves to the highest standards. At Premier Orthopedic Associates, we believe that you should live life at your best. Our team of non-operative and operative orthopedic specialists strive for the highest standards, exceptional outcomes, and happiest patients. Come and experience the Premier difference. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. After one is Camden High School 20. The Crusaders of Bishop Eustis 10. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to make a fast break with a short drive to RK Auto Group in Vineland, Jim G and his championship team will make you feel like an MVP when buying your new Chevrolet, Kia, or Subaru because RK does it right. BFA Sports would like to thank the RK Auto Group, Mr. Jim G. Here at the Dewan Wagner Court and on Dewan Wagner Court here in the Clarence Turner Gymnasium is the Camden High School, the 20 and two ranked eighth in the country Camden High School Panthers hosting the Bishop Eustis Crusaders. Seven points in the first half for DJ Wagner and why do we mention that? Because again, if you're just joining us, he needs 35 for career points, 2,000 in his career. Seven in the first. Crusaders, however, start the second with the basketball. Looking to trap in a half-court format now is in a 1-3-1 trap are the Panthers of Camden. Looking to go up tempo with this. They think that half-court trap will make it that way. Here they come in the trap. Up top is Robinson and Haskins in it. However, Callahan gets it out of it. They do a good job, however, getting it to the block and blocking the shot is Bradshaw. In transition, crossing the timeline is Wagner. No one stops the basketball. He gets all the way to the rim and scores. Here's our game changer you see right here. Wagner gets all the way through the paint. Nobody stops the basketball. Callahan reaches in and fouls. It's his second team fifth. Scoring the bucket is Wagner. Making the free throw is Wagner. He now has 10. Semiraglia with the basketball. To Callahan, now to 
Ionelli. Ionelli kicks it back out. Semiragli dribble drives, kicks, rotating the basketball, and Mason has it in a corner, however, not willing to shoot the three. Ionelli will take a little 14-footer along the baseline. That's no good. Rebound to Bradshaw. Back comes Camden. Wagner with the basketball, dribbles to the foul line, kicks out to Sion Medley. Medley looks to dribble drive, kicks back out to Wagner for three. His deep three goes down. That one was from the parking lot, folks. He was closer to the mayor of Camden than he was the three-point line. And down it went. 26-10. Camden in front. Semiraglio with a three-point field goal. He makes one of his own. Tommy Semiraglio answers with a Crusader three. Wagner back up top to Medley. Medley now into the paint to Bradshaw. Bradshaw kicks it back out to Medley. Dribble drive to the elbow. And what a find, and what a jam. What a good play and set up and an assist by Sion Medley, who from the elbow found a way to uh, seem to get it to Bradshaw, got it to the block, and Bradshaw knew what to do with it by jamming it home for two. 1-3-1 one, one, trap still being applied by Camden. Ball now into the hands of Ionelli. Kicks back out to Semiraglio. He looks to dribble drive. That one stripped by Medley. In transition come, the, come Camden high. Aliyup to Dasir Haskins. Ladies and gentlemen, that's transition basketball at its best. Medley to Wagner. The oop to Haskins. Down it went with the jam. Shot taken, Crusader shot taken by number three, James Ionelli. He could not get that to go, but he's fouled. Fouled by number 35, Demir, I'm sorry, Desir Haskins. Making the first free, free throw is Ionelli. He gets another. 547 left here in the first half. 30 to 14. Camden. Ionelli misses the second. He'll get one more as he was fouled shooting the three. Into the game is senior number 30, Lewis Cosme for Camden. And making the third one. So two or three for James Ionelli. Camden back in transition, Medley with the basketball. Waves Cosme away, tried to get it to Bradshaw in the post, but he was fronted and back. Double teamed in the post was Bradshaw. Wagner with it, opposite of us, dribble drive into the paint. Gets to the left side of the rim, can't score. Bradshaw gathers the rebound, goes up and scores. What a good job on the offensive glass by Aaron Bradshaw. Dominating the glass, he gets the rebound and the putback. It'll be Crusader basketball after a war delay of game warning as Camden uh, tapped the basketball away from the Crusader player, thus the delay of game warning. Crusaders now with it, and they cross the timeline, facing the 1-3-1 trap of Camden. Callahan with the basketball, now to Ionelli. His deep three is no good. Bradshaw up high for the rebound. However, he can't gather, and it goes off of his hands, out of bounds, possession to the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace. Callahan with a deep three and down that goes. That's a really good inbounds play right there. The lob to the top of the key to Callahan. No one steps through the double to cover him. And he knocks down a deep three. One that the Crusaders needed. Wagner takes the dribble all the way into the paint. Draws the foul on James Ionelli. It's the six-team foul for Bishop Eustace, and making the first is D.J. Wagner. He gets another. And makes that one as well. So two for two from the foul line for Wagner, who now has 15 in the contest. Ionelli at the top of the key with the basketball over to Callahan. Callahan back to Ionelli. Ionelli now over to the wing to Semiraglia. He Chris skips pass across court to Callahan, who's going to take another deep three. That one does not go. Bradshaw with the rebound. 
passes outlet pass to Wagner. He looks to get all the way to the paint, does so, and takes the limp move with the left hand and scores with the left hand. DJ Wagner having himself a night in transition here tonight. 17 so far in the first half for DJ Wagner. Dribble drive for the Crusaders along the baseline is Daniel Mason. He now kicks back out and skips the ball across the Semiraglia. Cosme just off that one. Now they get it into where Mason likes it in the paint. However, he ran into seven foot two Aaron Bradshaw. And back in transition come the Panthers. And back in transition is DJ Wagner. Two more for Wagner in transition. Bishop Eustace comes back, crosses the timeline. Semiragli with the basketball, kicks to the wing. Ionelli drives, can't get it, kicks back out. Bishop Eustace resets. Callahan with it to the foul line area to Semiragli. Kick opposite to a three-point field goal by Ionelli. That's no good. Rebound comes down to Haskins. Haskins in transition. Could have walked with it, but they're calling a foul prior to the walk out front. Fouls on number 31. That foul's on number one, uh, I'm sorry, 31, Frank Semiraglia, who checked into the game for Bishop Eustace. Seven team fouls. It's a seventh team foul, so in the bonus are the Panthers. Stepping to the line to shoot the one and one is Desir Haskins. Left-handed free throw attempt is up and good. I had thought that prior to, to the game, um, Desir Haskins had committed to St. Joe University. However, during senior night and the announcements, they said that he has plenty and numerous new Division I offers. So we'll see where the future of Desir Haskins We'll see what happens to his future in regards to his commitment, but there's a bunch of D1s looking at the Sear Hoskins, and he knocks that one down. Goes two for two from the foul line. Our score is 41-18 with 3.35 left in the second quarter. The Crusaders and Coach Falconero are going to call another timeout. Let's go to and thank one of our, another one of our sponsors. And that would be Game Changer. When you want to change the way you follow the game, score, stream, and now create your own in-game highlights with the all-new Game Changer app. Download it now at gc.com on your favorite iOS or Android device. Game Changer, changing the way you watch the game. A lot of smiles in the gymnasium tonight. It's senior night. The Panthers are looking for their 21st win against rival Bishop Eustace out in front of this one and in control with a 23-point lead here. Again, with 3.35 left in the second are the Panthers of Camden High School. And we are currently on a point watch for DJ Wagner. I have him currently with 19 points, and he needs 35 for career point number 2,000. Crusaders, however, as we resume, have the basketball. Out of the 1-3-1 trap and going back to man-to-man -to -man are the Panthers of Camden High School. Callahan with the basketball. Over to Tommy Semiraglia. Now into the hands of Ionelli. Back to Callahan. Callahan to the corner to Mason. They try to find Semiraglia on the roll. Can't do so. At the elbow with it and shooting an elbow jump shot is James Ionelli, and he knocks that down. Two-point field goal for James Ionelli of the Crusaders. With the basketball is Sion Medley. He'll come up top. With it. Dribbling, not even being contested or defended. And he's willing to call a play. Looked like he wanted to find Wagner, however, went inside to Bradshaw. Now dribble drives and kicks to Wagner as he draws the help. Wagner tries to get all the way into the paint. Ball stripped. Good defensive stand there by the Crusaders. Semiraglia kicks it all the way out to the wing to Callahan. That three-point field goal from the wing is no good. Trying to save it inbounds. However, going out of bounds and stepping on the end line was Sion Medley. He wants to have a discussion with the official in regards to trying to claim he didn't. However, the official wins that one. 
<laughs> the official wins that one. Ball into the paint, and now the number three, James Ionelli. That's no good. Back in transition come the Panthers of Camden High School. Sion Medley with a deep three, and down it goes. He's used to setting everyone up for field goals. This time he says, let me pull up with a deep three because I can knock this down, and he certainly did. Medley for three. Now a steal on the defensive end by Camden. Out in transition to Medley. Goes along the baseline. Draws a blocking foul as he's blocked and pushed out of bounds. Fouls on number 31, Frank Semiraglia. So there are two Semiraglias. Number 25 is Tommy Semiraglia. Number 31 is Frank Semiraglia. However, going to the line for Camden is number one. St. Louis commit Sion Medley. And second one goes for Medley. 46-20 is our score. Camden in control of this one. Fade away, 16-footer is James Ionelli, is taken by James Ionelli, that's no good. Rebound to Camden and in transition comes Camden and to the rim in transition is DJ Wagner, giving him 21 for the evening. 21 here in the first half with 124 left. Mason, a three-point field goal from the corner. That's no good. Back in transition comes Camden. They, Wagner to the wing to Medley. That three-point field goal is no good. Mason for the Crusaders with the rebound. Outlet pass to Callahan. Callahan gets to the elbow, kicks it to the corner to Ionelli. Ionelli kicks it back out to Callahan. That three-point field goal is no, no good. And hustling down the rebound is Cornelius Robinson, who goes to Aaron Bradshaw with a thunderous dunk. You get at the ball to the block to Bradshaw, and he knows what to do with it. That seven-foot frame jamming it home. Aaron Bradshaw with 10 total. I have him four, but three highlight reel dunks in this one this evening. Crusaders come back with the basketball. Bishop Eustace has it. Semiraglia over to Callahan. Callahan back to Semiraglia. Now opposite corner to Mason. Mason back to Callahan who knocks down a deep three. Joseph Callahan from the Camden bench knocks down a three. Wagner in transition. Gets to the block. Tries to hit a little bank shot from like six feet out. That doesn't go. However, he's fouled. 25. Tommy Fouls on number 25 of Bishop Eustace, Tommy Semiraglio. Still one and one, not the double bonus yet. That's only the ninth team foul for Bishop Eustace. Wagner to the line. Makes the first. And the second. So I have DJ Wagner officially for 23 points at, the, at this point with 19 seconds left in the first half. Crusaders with the basketball. Semiraglia with it. Guard to guard pass against the trap to number 13, Joseph Hollingshead. Now into the corner to Mason who goes now to number 25, Tommy Semiraglia. Wagner for three, no good at the buzzer. So our score, we're through one half of play here. Our score is Camden High School 52, the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace 25.
came with the gang, look how we run it. Look how we run it. The hustle and pain is just not the same. I came from the gutter, ayy. Whole team limitless. Uh -huh. Never said that we above. Whole crowd showing love. Yeah. We, up. we on the up. We on the up. Team going up. The team going up. We run it up. We run it, we run it. We on the This is Ron Jaworski. I want to invite everyone to rediscover the excellence and diversity of my six championship golf courses. You know what first attracted me to the game of golf? It's the precision it requires at every level. At Ron Jaworski Golf, everything we do centers around you. It's the small touches that make golf so special. That's what drew me in years ago and forever shapes the way I feel about the game. Come enjoy our amazing signature golf courses or go to ronjaworskigolf.com. We live in a community that cares. We make sure everyone eats, everyone plays, everyone stays warm, and everyone is protected. We support our youth in organizations that teach the value of community and self-worth. We make strides against breast cancer every day. Together, in this community, we make a difference. RK Chevrolet, RK Kia, and RK Subaru. Proudly serving our community since 1982. As I became an orthopedic surgeon over the last 25 years, I discovered something interesting. Our female athletes would have many more ACL injuries than our male athletes. These were discovered first when the NCAA, as well as the female basketball players in the pros, were watched when they would land after getting rebounds. When they would land, they would land with their legs more knock kneed while the male athletes would land with their legs more separated, a much safer way to land when you're protecting your ACL and trying to prevent anterior knee pain. Let's take a look at our athlete and see if she has any of these issues going on with her today. Our female athletes tended to land with their legs more knock kneed This knock kneed landing tended to place more shearing stresses across the anterior kneecap, as well as more importantly, their ACL. Landing with the knees coming in is very dangerous for their ACL and causing anterior knee pain. Landing with the knees in a more separated position is a much safer way of landing and they can practice this by jumping off of boxes and landing in a much safer position. This will protect your female and male athletes from injuries. 
Let's try that with the landing in a better separated position this time. Perfect. Again. Again. Perfect. We laid our athlete back and we give them a little stretchy band. These are exercise bands that can be obtained either online or at your physical therapist shop. And you can come and see us for picking them up as well. This band is tied and they come in different colors which have different strengths. It's tied right around the knees and then we have the athlete push apart against the resistance of the band. You're gonna have them do several of these, three sets doing almost 20 of them. Go ahead and do those. Perfect. You're doing it nice and controlled and what you're strengthening is the muscles around the hip. We're gonna show you one more of these different exercises while doing it standing. The next exercise to build strength in both the muscles of the hip as well as the muscles of the vastus medialis is this mini squats. Your athlete is gonna stand with a band around their knees and they're gonna squat down to about 45 degrees. And then by doing that, you can even toss a ball back and forth to them where they're gonna push against the resistance of the band. Go ahead and do a couple of those. Perfect. And by doing that, you're gonna build the strength in both the muscles around the knee as well as the muscles of the hip. This is a perfect exercise, and we're gonna show you one more modification of this that really helps build strength in the hips. Now there's lateral strides with the band around their legs. These are further gonna build strength in the muscles of the hip as well as the muscles of the knee. As they're striding, they're getting down in a small squat and going sideways. Again, you can add in increased dexterity by passing the ball back and forth to your athlete while they're doing it. And remember, these exercises are good both for your female and your male athlete. I suggest you videotape your athlete landing, focusing at the knee so you can give them cues as whether or not they're landing in a safe position. Have them do it multiple times. And by doing the strengthening exercises and the muscle memory will build that they will land in a much safer position. And you guys won't have to see me to do your ACL reconstructions. Good luck and keep those exercises going. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Camden High School. An exciting evening here in the Clarence Turner Gymnasium on the Dewan Wagner floor. We began with senior night. However, let's first start by thanking one of our sponsors, Premier Orthopedics. Don't let back pain or knee strain keep you out of the game. With eight locations throughout South Jersey, Premier Orthopedic will get you off the bench and back into the action. From discovery to recovery, now including physical therapy, call or text the Premier team at 856-690-1616 for same or next day care. Ron Jaworski, Ron Jaworski Golf Group. I'd like to thank them for their sponsorships and helping BFA Sports bring contests like this one to you. So let's go over our first half point categories for the Bishop Eustace Crusaders. James Ionelli had nine. Joseph Callahan, eight, Tommy Semiraglia, five, and Ian Glassmacher, two. For the Camden High School Panthers, they were led by 23 first half points for DJ Wagner. We're gonna get back to that for a minute, just in case, you, in one minute, in case you're just tuning in. With 12 points was Aaron Bradshaw, uh, Desir Haskins had five, Cornelius Robinson, four, Sion Medley also had five. Getting back to DJ Wagner, ladies and gentlemen, he needs 12 more. He came into the evening needing 35 total points for 2,000 points in his career. As stated, he had 23 in the first half. Stay tuned and watch close in the second half because DJ Wagner only needs 12 more. If you're just tuning in, you missed a wonderful senior night presentation here 
uh, to start our, our telecast on BFA Sports. Again, I'm Steve Westcott. I'd love to thank you. I want to thank you for tuning in. This is the Camden High School Panthers, ranked eighth in the country with a record of 22 in this contest, hosting the Bishop Eustis Crusaders, coached by Bob Falconero, who was one of the wonderful surgeons at that premier group and that premier team by Dr. Dwyer. We're about to get the second half underway. It will be Camden's possession to start. Our officials for tonight, Mr. Bill Edelman, Andrew Thomas, Mike Perry. Gymnasium is packed. Excitement in the air. And the second half is underway. Possession to the Panthers. Medley with the basketball to the elbow to Bradshaw. Bradshaw looks for Wagner, cutting through the paint, can't find him. Wagner goes to the top of the key on a zipper cut, fakes the three, and goes to the corner. The three-point field goal from the corner is good by Cornelius Robinson. He knocks down a three from the corner right in front of his bench. Back come the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace. Ball into the hands of Ionelli. Now over to Semiraglia. Semiraglia to Callahan. Callahan looks to get it back to Ionelli. Can't do so. Goes to the wing, and now it's back up top, and it is into the hands of Ionelli. Back to Callahan. Semiraglia now with it. Passes to Ionelli. Over to Semiraglia, into the corner to Mason. I'm sorry, not Mason. I'm, that's over into the corner to Glassmacher. Glassmacher finds a cutting. James Ionelli for two. So James Ionelli now goes to double digits for Bishop Eustace. Wagner comes back, gets trapped into the corner, kicks it back out, ball rotates back to the corner, and a three-point field goal is up and no good. We have a foul on the play. Let's let the officials clear this out so we can bring it to you right. Okay, so the basket was good by Aaron Bradshaw. He also committed a foul on the play. Is the way it was just announced. So Wagner still with 23. Crusaders onto the baseline and finding a cutting. Glassmacher, however, unable to finish was Glassmacher. Cutting to the rim, open. Wagner, I apologize, that's Medley to the corner to Haskins. That's no good. DJ Wagner with the rebound and putback. DJ Wagner comes from the weak side and off of the Haskins miss, gets to the rebound and put back for two, giving him 25 for the evening. Ball now into the corner. Ionelli with it, kicks it back out to Semiraglia. Semiraglia looks to go guard to guard, however, throws back to the corner too. Glassmacher, Glassmacher skip pass to Callahan. Callahan to the corner. Mason's three-point field goal from there is no good. Camden with the basketball. Medley with it to the baseline. Dribble drive along the baseline and scoring along the baseline is number 23, Cornelius Robinson. Bishop Eustace with the basketball. They get it to the foul line. Kicks it to the corner. Back up top to Semiraglia. Simaragli to Callahan. 1-3-1, one, one, defense being applied and being played by Camden. Ball to the foul line to Simaragli. Kicks to the corner to Mason. That's no good. Bishop Eustace resets. To Semiraglia, opposite wing to Callahan, and he drains a three. Good job by Bishop Eustace right there. They were able to get the ball when Camden came to pressure. DJ Wagner for a deep three. That's no good. Robinson with the rebound and put back. He can't score, but he gets fouled. Let's go back to that last play by Bishop Eustace. Real good job when they waited for Camden to come pressure and come trap. And when they did, they got the ball immediately to the top of the key. An opposite kick to Callahan, who knocked down a deep three. 
Good possession for Bishop Eustis on that last possession. As stated here for Camden High School, however, Cornelius Robinson with a rebound, attempts to put it back, couldn't do so, but drew the foul and makes the first of two. He'll get another. He makes the second. Five minutes left in the third. Scoring underneath on a good entry by Ionelli was Mason. Sion Medley with the basketball in the Bradshaw. Bradshaw trying to get trapped in the, actually there along the baseline by Callahan and Mason. That ball goes off of Camden, out of bounds. Okay, so there's some um, confusion in the gymnasium. The tip by Bradshaw just a short period ago was announced as a Bradshaw tip for two. However, all of, on media row here, where we are, everyone is saying that that was tipped in by DJ Wagner. So we're gonna get a clarification of that. We have R Wagner right now with 27 points. However, it's announced that it's only 25. So we're gonna get a clarification on that one because we certainly wanna get this one right. Timeout on the play. Camden comes out of the timeout. It'll be Bishop Eustis basketball. Ball's in the hands of Semiraglia. To the elbow area to Ionelli. Ionelli kicks to Callahan, now into the corner to Mason. Mason tries to find a cutting, Ionelli does so, and the ball retreats and comes back out and resetting is Bishop Eustis. Okay, so now the media row here, everyone is saying that the book is right and it is 27 points officially for DJ Wagner as Bishop Eustace turns the basketball over. Apologize for the delay. I was trying to get a clarification here as everyone is in confusion but wants to get it right. So we officially have now, and apparently the book has now, 27 points on the evening for DJ Wagner. Eight more for number 2,000. Camden with the basketball. It's Medley off of a Bradshaw screen. Medley tries to go up top to Wagner, does so. Wagner, dribble drive with the right hand all the way to the rim and scores. DJ Wagner, DJ Wagner for two more and he's putting on a show in here tonight, folks. Bishop Eustace with the basketball. Into the hands of Mason in the corner, back out to Callahan. Now to the foul line to Glassmacher. Three by Callahan is no good, rebound two. Robinson, Robinson throws ahead to Wagner. However, goes off of Wagner and out of bounds into the Camden bench. Bishop Eustace with the basketball, crossing the timeline. Semiraglia with it to the top of the key to Ionelli, back to Semiraglia. Guard to guard pass over Top of Haskins to Callahan. Callahan goes back to Semiraglia. Uses a ball fake. Throws it back to Callahan, who now gets it to Ionelli. Ionelli to Callahan, now into the corner to Mason. Finds a cutting, oh, good pass. Finds a cutting Ionelli, who then finds Glassmacher on the weak block for two. Really good ball movement right there from Mason. 
as Ionelli flashed to him, he hit Ionelli with the pass, and Ionelli goes opposite block to Glassmacher for two. 64-34, 2.36 left here in the third quarter. Camden High School and the Clarence Turner Gymnasium on DeWan Wagner Court. Dribble drive along the baseline and count the bucket for DJ Wagner. To the rim, that's no good. Ball tipped away, however, off of Camden High School. It'll go out of bounds and the possession will belong to Four more. Okay, it is official. Four more for DJ Wagner. 2.17 left here in the third. Crusader basketball, Callahan with it. Back to Ionelli. He's doing a nice job. However, it's stripped away from DJ Wagner. He has a throw ahead pass and jamming it home. After the throw ahead is number 35, Dasir Haskins. Transition basketball at his best. Wagner with the assist, Haskins with the jam. Crusader basketball, Mason from the corner. He shoots a three, that's no good. Ball's tipped back out and regathered on the floorboard. Coming up with it is Bishop Eustace. Ionelli with it. Dribble drive, tries to go opposite block again to Glassmacher. However, this one goes off through his hands, off of his shoulder and out of bounds. Ball belongs to Camden. Sion Medley with the basketball, being covered by Callahan. Try to get it to G DJ Wagner. He's being covered by Semiraglia. Good entry pass by Medley to the block to Desir Haskins. However, he commits an offensive foul when barreling in to Daniel Mason. That's an offensive foul on Desir Haskins. The ball, giving the ball back to Bishop Eustace. 68-34, just over a minute left here in the third. Glassmacher into the corner, he's now double teamed. He tries to throw a pass along the baseline to Mason. He can't gather it, Medley comes up with it. Now into the hands of DJ Wagner. DJ Wagner, full head of speed, goes to the left side with the left hand, can't score, but he's fouled. 13. Wagner's first free throw is up and good. He gets another. And he makes that one. 33. Thir 33. 33 points for DJ Wagner and Camden leads 70-34. Crusaders with the basketball. Callahan, now to Ionelli. Ionelli kicks back out to Semiraglia over to Callahan, back to Ionelli. Little triangle passing attack by Bishop Eustace here. Ionelli gets all the way to the rim and scores with the right hand. Good job, nobody stepped up and stopped him. Ionelli to the rim. Back comes Camden with the basketball into the hands of Wagner. Wagner looking to get all the way to the rim. He does so with the left hand, no good. What a move by DJ Wagner. He tried to use the left hand and get the bucket to go. However, could not do so, but he's fouled on the play and he'll go to the line to shoot two. I apologize, they call it before the shot. So D, they get it into DJ Wagner. The ball's in his hands, all the way to the rim. And there it is, there it is. DJ Wagner all the way to the rim with the left hand dribble. However, over the front of the rim, he floats it with the right hand floater and gets it to go. DJ Wagner for Camden High School with career point number 2,000. The McDonald's All-American, DJ Wagner being in a big pile as he celebrates his 2,000th career point. Let's go to our game changer replay, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. DJ Wagner with the left hand finishes. I'm sorry, that's the foul. So then they give him the ball on the baseline. They call it out of bounds. They give it to him on the baseline. 
They threw it to the wing to him. All four of the Camden High School Panthers, all four of his teammates just cleared out. Wagner went one on four with the left hand, however, finished with the right over the front of the rim, and he now becomes the third basketball player of Camden High School in his family to reach 2,000 points. His grandfather, Milt, did it. His father, Dewan, did it. And now you can add DJ Wagner to the 2,000-point club. He and his teammates gather at center court to enjoy the celebration and the photo ops. His 35th point of the evening. Game changer replay. Here it is. You can see the four Panthers all the way over in front of their bench. Third generation of the two DJ Wagner now comes to the ball as they get ready to inbound. You'll see Medley inbound it, gets it to Wagner. Goes with the left hand. This is what I'm talking about. Left hand dribble drive all the way to the paint. Right hand floater over top of the front of the rim and down it goes for career number 2,000 for DJ Wagner. Crusaders now come back with the basketball into the hands of Semiraglia. Semiraglia to, Semiraglia to Ionelli who's having himself a night in here tonight for the Crusaders. Give and go. And Ionelli does not score at the buzzer and that will end our third quarter. So to score after three, here at Camden High School will be Camden High School 72, the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace 36. and gentlemen to Camden High School, the Clarence Turner Gymnasium and Dewan Wagner Court. Whereas if you are just joining us on Dewan Wagner Court, Dewan's son DJ Wagner just scored his 2,000th career point with his 35th point of the evening. That's right, 35 points and three quarters for DJ Wagner, number 2,000 for his career. Fourth quarter starts with the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace with the basketball. Ball into Ionelli, who's having himself a heck of a night in here. Rebound by Mason off of the missed three by Glassmacher. Now stolen away by DJ Wagner. Throw ahead attempt to Haskins is incomplete, using a football term. However, the ball will remain in the possession of Camden. Inbounding is Sion Medley. Medley in the Bradshaw. Bradshaw to Medley, who Medley dribbles off a Bradshaw screen and then kicks to the corner and shooting a corner three. However, unable to get that to go is Cornelius Robinson. Back comes Bishop Eustace. Crossing the timeline was Callahan. Callahan to Ionelli. Now over to Glassmacher. Takes a three from the wing. That's no good. Sion Medley with the rebound for Camden. He gets himself in transition. DJ Wagner for a three from right in front of his bench and down it goes for. 38. Okay, and that three is DJ Wagner's 38th point. And from what I'm being told now is he just tied his grandfather in career points, which is Milt Wagner, in career total points. With 2003. Game changer, ladies and gentlemen. 
When you want to change the way you follow the game, score, stream, and now create your own in-game highlights with the all-new Game Changer app. Download it now on GC.com on your favorite iOS or Android advice. Change the way you watch the game with Game Changer. GC.com. So it was senior night early as the seniors all got recognized, both players, managers, and cheerleaders. Then the game finally started, and it became the DJ Wagner evening. As he now has 38 points with 7-11 left in the fourth, reaching the 2,000 point club, and now tying his grandfather, Milt Wagner, with a career total of 2,003. Bishop Eustace with the basketball, still in their triangle passing attack on the perimeter up front. Mason, however, has it now to Callahan, now to the top of the key to Ionelli, back to Callahan. Back to Ionelli, over to the opposite wing to Semiragli, and he drains a three from right in front of his bench. That triangle passing attack up top on the perimeter has served them well. They have gotten good looks out of it. Semiragli knocked a good look down right there. Sion Medley looking to go one on one with his defender. However, when he gets to the block, kind of pushed off with that weak arm and drew an offensive foul. Or I should say committed an offensive foul. Sion Medley with his personal foul. That's the team third in the second half for Camden. Ionelli kicks to Callahan. He gives a good head and ball fake. Takes a dribble, regathers himself. However, can't knock down a three. Ball was rebounded by Aaron Bradshaw, and then he was fouled. Foul was on Bishop Eustace, number 25, Tommy Semiraglia. Camden basketball. Medley with it. Crosses the timeline. To the elbow to Aaron Bradshaw. Aaron Bradshaw kicks back out to Medley. Good head and ball fake all the way down the paint goes Medley. He can't score, but he's fouled. Personal foul. Good head and ball fake. Got the defender up in the air, did Medley. Two. Defender goes in the air. He uses the dribble drive to get by him. He draws the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two. St. Louis commits Sion Medley. Does not get the first one to go. He'll have another. And the second one he knocks down. One of two for Sion Medley at the strike. Bishop Eustace basketball. Semiraglia with it to Ionelli. He now dribbles out to the top of that triangle and lets Semiraglia get to the point of it right at the top of the key. The guard to guard passes, strip and tipped away, and in transition. Ooh! Can't making the jam, or not making the jam is DJ Wagner. However, the rebound and put back is good by Desir Haskins. Another turnover by Bishop Eustace, and back in transition is Aaron Bradshaw, and jamming it home. The assist from this, I'm sorry, from Cornelius Robinson, and jamming it home in transition was Aaron Bradshaw. Callahan with a good head and ball fake for Bishop Eustace, gets the defender up in the air, can't make the eight, 10 footer. Back in transition comes Camden, and here we go. It's showtime, ladies and gentlemen. Cornelius Robinson with a jam of his own on the feed from Haskins. Camden up, amping up the pressure on the defensive end, creating turnovers and getting out and transitioning and dunking the basketball. Good move by Mason right there. A little long the baseline, two dribbles, was able to spin through two defenders and make a little right hand layup. Medley steps back and shoots a deep three and down that goes. From the parking lot, Sion Medley makes a three from NBA range. 85-41, 421 left here in the contest. Three-point field goal from Ionelli is up and good. Again, the triangle passing attack finds, and Camden doesn't able to close, or unable to close out on the shooter. 
and down went a three for Ionelli, who's having a really good game for Bishop Eustace in here tonight. Turnover by Camden. Back come the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace. I'm sorry. Jump shot by Callahan is no good. The rebound for Bradshaw. In transition is Wagner. Gets to the rim and scores with the right hand. DJ Wagner in transition all the way to the rim with the right hand. And that's 40 for, the, for DJ Wagner. Three forty-four left here in the contest. D.J. Wagner on senior night on his father's court, Dewan Wagner Court in the Clarence Turner Gymnasium, has forty, accumulating his two thousandth point this evening. And again, excitement was in the air from the time you entered this gymnasium tonight. Started with senior night. and became the DJ Wagner Show. Timeout was called on the play. Substitutions now into the game for Camden. Entering the game is Sitafa Hall, number three. Lewis Cosme, number 30. Ari Gooch, number 10. Desir Haskins stays on. And the fifth player is Teron Murray, number five. Bishop Eustis basketball. Looks like a 2-3 zone here. Zone now being played by Camden High School. Bishop Eustace moves the ball around the perimeter, taking a deep three as Ionelli. He can't get it to go. The rebound put back by Glassmacher, unable to go as well. Murray with the basketball for Camden. Gets it back out front to Haskins. Haskins over to Hall. Hall looking to use the dribble drive. Can't do so, but kicks it out to the top of the key to Haskins. He throws it, he passes it to the wing to, for a three-point field goal attempt by Ari Gooch, who can't get that to go. Foul on the rebound. Bishop Eustace basketball. 3-0-1, remaining in the fourth. Simaragli with the basketball for Bishop Eustace, crosses the timeline. 1-3-1 one, one, half court trap now being apply, uh, played by, and really good job right there by Bishop Eustace, picking that 1-3-1 one, one, trap apart at that on that occasion. And I believe it was Simaraglia with the bucket at the end of four straight passes, and a really good job by Eustace right there. Camden basketball into the hands of Hall. And as Teron Murray runs off double screens along the foul line, there's a moving screen called by the official and an offensive foul player, player control foul on Camden. Foul was on Satifa, Satifa Hall. It's his first, 15. Bishop Eustis with the basketball. Semiraglia over to number 13. Hollingshead now gets it to back to Frank Semiraglia. Over to Ryan Kraft. Ryan Kraft now to Semiraglia. Back to Hollingshead. Hollingshead to Kraft into the center of the paint. Throws a floater up and over Haskins and gets it to go. Good little floaty, floater there by Ryan Kraft. And there's excitement from the Camden benches because coming off the bench and getting to the scores table is the senior manager who was announced on senior night here at the beginning of the evening. He's gonna wear number 43, they called him D-Rock. 
However, his name is Derek Lilly. And you can hear the chant from the Camden bench, D-Rock. Cosme will go to the line for Camden. Misses the first. He'll have one more and checking in is D-Rock, he is now into the game. Again, that's number 43, Derek Lilly. He replaces Haskins, who leaves the contest. Cosme makes the second, so one of two for Cosme. Bishop Eustis with the basketball. Over to Hollingshead, Hollingshead back to Killian. Killing to Howling's head back to Killing, now to Samaraglia, and now over to number 11, Adamanis. Or Don. Back in transition comes Camden. The ball's now into the hands of Set Setafa Hall. They're going to. He tries to throw the pass to Derek Lilly, and that ball goes out of bounds, off Lilly, and out of bounds. 1 11 left in the contest. Bishop Eustis with the basketball. Crossing the timeline is Hollingshead to the foul line to Killian over under the Adamanis and he scores with a little reverse layup. Hall now with the basketball for Camden. Looking to get it into the hands of Lilly, I'm sure. Now they have it in the hands of Lilly. His jump shot from 14 foot is no good. However, he's fouled on the play. And Derek Lilly, the senior manager, will go to the foul line to shoot two. Derek Lilly's first free throw is up and no good. Everyone in the gym standing and rooting for the young man at this point. Actual chance of MVP being heard throughout the gym right now. The second one is up. That's no good as well. Murray gets the rebound, kicks it back out to Lilly. That jump shot's off the front of the rim and no good. Bishop used this basketball. Hollingshead with the throw ahead. Kraft with it. He loses it. Crossing the timeline with 30 seconds left. They get it into the hands of Lilly. He fires a jump shot off the backboard. No good off the front of the rim. He now gets a steal. Pass on the block, Lilly for two, that's no good. Lilly again, yes! With 16 seconds left, and the place is going crazy. Everyone out on the floor. Coach Falconero and Bishop Eustace chuckling at the situation, but Derek Lilly, the senior manager, has just scored his first, but the first bucket of his career. Everyone in the gym happy. However, the happiest might be DJ Wagner. He's running around dancing, smiling, doing chest bumps with everyone. So on a night where DJ Wagner gets his 2,000th point, Derek Lilly, the senior manager, gets his first bucket of his career. There's still 13 seconds left in this one. With all the excitement in here tonight, at this point, the basketball game has kind of been forgotten about. Cheerleaders on the floor. They're singing and dancing in the bleachers. What a night to be at Camden High School. What a night to be in the Clarence Turner Gymnasium on Dewan Wagner Court. If you could think of something in the, in the game of basketball, it probably happened in here tonight. They clear the floor. They have 10 players back out on it. They're gonna get the last 13 ticks ran off the clock. I'd like to thank a couple of people in the front row who helped save our equipment <laughs> as the pile was coming, the player pile was coming over to us. Everybody stood up and saved our equipment from them actually being tackled into it. So the final bucket of the contest, I believe, went to Ryan Kraft. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is in the books. Our final score here on senior night in the Clarence Turner Gymnasium on Dewan Wagner Court. Finals Camden 
High School 90, Bishop Eustis 52. We'll see you soon, everyone. This is Ron Jaworski. I want to invite everyone to rediscover the excellence and diversity of my six championship golf courses. You know what first attracted me to the game of golf? It's the precision it requires at every level. At Ron Jaworski Golf, everything we do centers around you. It's the small touches that make golf so special. That's what drew me in years ago and forever shapes the way I feel about the game. Come enjoy our amazing signature golf courses or go to ronjaworskigolf.com. Hut, hut! When it comes to taking care of your physical wellness, maintaining good health of your bones and muscles, you want a team of doctors you can trust and who hold themselves to the highest standards. At Premier Orthopedic Associates, we believe that you should live life at your best. Our team of non-operative and operative orthopedic specialists strive for the highest standards, exceptional outcomes, and happiest patients. Come and experience the Premier difference.